only we can learn to love one another, truly love one another, and love ourselves so that we can love one another, and touch one another, particularly in the family life, then we're going to start getting somewhere. So that would be your new, your new, that new commandment. That is the basis for yes. me everything. Well, it might actually be an old one as well. <laughs> what about the right at the back there? We already have Ten Commandments. Here, here. And if people would abide by those Ten Commandments, we wouldn't have the problem we're discussing here tonight. <laughs> I'm now going to ask the panel the same question. Louis, what would you say if you had to give well, a, new, a new instruction, a oh, new commandment? Oh, well, what I was saying, I think uh, tolerance, as tolerance of other people's rights, as well as your own. Jean, I would say listen to each other. And Brian? Switch off the television. I think we should stop uh, ignoring each other, start listening to each other, and start talking to each other, recognizing that we have individual needs, that they may not always be able to be fulfilled, but at least we can pay attention to them and at times perhaps compromise more with you. And Virginia, yes. the ideal doesn't exist. This idea of happy families, most people struggle and argue and debate and keep going. Uh, it's worth it. Children and families and individuals, we need continuity. We need stability. We need intimate relationships. And above all, remember to love. Thank you to the panel for a very interesting and very stimulating discussion and to the audience for all your excellent contributions. I've been fascinated as a mother myself this evening. I hope you'll join me next week. Till then, good night.